wallpaper lampshades. In this quick video, we're going to talk about the options that you've got when ordering a wallpaper lampshade and things to consider. So our first thing to consider is a single-sided or double-sided wallpaper lampshade. Are you going to have the print on the outside only or are you going to have it on the inside and the outside? When you've got an outside only wallpaper lampshade, the important thing to remember is what kind of light goes through the lampshade. Does the light change and if it does, are you going to be okay with that? If you want to avoid the light changing, what we can do is a technique similar to what you do in curtains and blinds, which is apply a block out to the print. So that means the light will shadow from changing it up. Because paper can't be rolled and tailored over a wire, what we need to do is apply a trim. So that's a bias which is on the top and the bottom, which holds the whole entire lampshade together. And we use a really good quality bias for this exact purpose. There's a couple dozen colors and what we try to do is match up the color in either the background or we find a color that goes really nicely with the feature colors inside the wallpaper. So there's a couple of ways that we go about it. We either create a very distinct border or we try and make it as subtle as possible. Direction. Wallpapers can be placed in a couple of ways. You can either have the wallpapers panelled vertically like you would on a wall or you can turn it on its side and wrap the wallpaper around the lampshade leaving only one join. So in many cases, this is the difference between one or six joins on a lampshade. And obviously a single join is a much tidier look. But if you've got a print that is, say, a series of trees or flowers, then you need to have the wallpaper panelled. And where we join each of the panels together, there's going to be a bit of a shadow mark. And so that's where having a block out will be of benefit. The width of the wallpaper is the next thing to consider. Mostly wallpapers are 50 centimetres wide, so you won't be able to do anything taller than that. And we normally can't use wallpapers for conical or empire lampshades. So ask us if you've got any questions about the width of the wallpaper. So if you want the best results, then uh, get our advice. We can tell you what the best options are in terms of having it double-sided or single-sided the trim and the direction and what shadows might occur given the width of your paper. For us what we try to do is choose a trim that looks best on the paper and will give you a really good result as we try and make these lampshades last a really long long time. So send us an email if you've got any more questions about this or you can simply ask us what we feel would be the best for this wallpaper project. And of course, you can always supply us with your own trim if you feel like it.